Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Today, we are hopping back in the action. Last episode, of course, we got started and we went on our Pokemon adventure. And now we are in Jubilife City. As you can see, Jubilife City, the city of joy. I wanna explore here a little bit and we'll also probably catch some new Pokemon later down the line. So that'll be pretty cool. For right now though, I just sort of wanna hop around town and see what we can explore. Hopefully today we get to do our first um, trainer, uh, gym leader battle, that'd be pretty cool. Hello there, trainer. If you get stumped and don't know what to do, talk to people, talk to everyone you see. Go places, go wherever you can. You'll find many new places by doing just that. Also, if you press the ask X button, um, head over to the trainer school, you can see different descriptions and stuff. Uh, Pokemon are wonderful, deeply mysterious creatures. But to trainers, it seems that the only thing that matters is battling. I mean, not to all trainers. It really depends on the person. Did you know? Some kinds of Pokemon evolve when they get stronger from battling. When they evolve, they can take on completely different appearances. Yeah, I'm looking forward to evolving all my Pokemon once we get them. Evolution makes Pokemon that just that much more fascinating. I agree. Got a little music stand over here. Can't interact with it though. Okay, so let's head up this building. So we're looking for the training school. I'm sure we'll find it sooner or later. Not too much of a rush. We'll just sort of explore everything in Jubilife City and see what we come up with. Get these two. I'm trading Pokemon with my buddy. I give my Pokemon an item to hold before trading it. That will make the other trainer double happy. <laughs> That's cool. So they're tra trading Pokemon together. Hello, trainer. Do you know much about Pokemon? Yes. Ah, I see you're quite well versed indeed. I imagine you wouldn't see the need to visit the trainer school then. But do visit if you have the time. You may discover something new. Well, I definitely will still do that just so we can get the experience from it. And maybe we'll learn some new stuff, like you said. I don't know if any of us need healing, but we might as well go for it. Of course, I just caught Bass, who is a, uh, a Shanks. There we go, pretty cool. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon to full health. We hope to see you again. So one thing I did forget to mention in the last episode is that I'm not really gonna worry too much about the Pokemon I catch, whatever their gender is. Too much, just because it would take too much time for me to match the ginger up to the cat I'm naming them after, or the dog I'm naming them after. And I just don't have that time, unfortunately. So if you do see that the Pokemon is a different gender than what I'm referring them to, it's just for the sake of convenience. Um, I'm just referring to them as the animal I'm naming them after's gender. So uh, either way, in the local room of Sears, you can battle and trade with other people. Okay, we've already read a little bit about that. You know how Pokemon have types, like water, fire, and grass? They say that types have strengths and weaknesses against other types. Yep, like lightning is good against water, or electric is good against water. You can still catch Pokemon if you already have six traveling with you. A new Pokemon can be sent to a Pokemon box. Knowing that, I can keep on catching more and more Pokemon. It'll make it more fun to check my boxes. I agree. And that is definitely something we'll be working on soon. Okay, well there is that. All of our Pokemon are healed up, which is good because now we can go into the training school and maybe do some more battles. Oh, here's Lion. Hey Zebra, did you come to study too? I went ahead and memorized everything that was up on the blackboard. After all, it's a trainer's job to avoid having their precious Pokemon hurt in battle, right? So, Zebra, what brings you here? You got something for me? Oh yeah, that's right, we have the parcel. So, what is this? Score, it's a town map. Huh? Why are there two in here? I like it a lot, but I don't need two. Here, Zebra, you take one. You obtained a town map, awesome. So now we can tell our way to Rotan. Hmm, well, according to the town map, I guess Oraberg City is where I should be going next. There's a gym, so it'd be perfect for raising the Pokemon I just caught. Well, I'm on the road to becoming the greatest trainer of all time. See you around. <laughs> all right, see you, Lion. Chock, it's chock full of Pokemon books and photo collections. So I'll just talk to some people here. You just became a trainer, did you? You should look up topics that you're not familiar with. The blackboard lists status changes that may affect Pokemon in battle. Which status would you like to read about? So you can see different ones here, like poisoned, will damage a Pokemon every turn, paralyzed. We can read one of them just as an example, but I sort of know most of them. Paral paralysis reduces speed and may prevent Pokemon from using any moves. Paralysis also lingers after battle, so use a paralyzed heal to clear up any nasty effects. And we'll leave it there for now. Over this way, Pokemon are smart enough to use items they're holding, but they won't know what to do with human-made items like potions and antidotes. 
I wrote an essay in my notebook on what makes a true Pokemon trainer. That's cool. Hello. We learned about Pokemon types today. Um, grass is weak to fire, fire is weak to water, and water is weak to grass. I think that's how it goes. Indeed it is. Battling is the best way to learn. Can we get a battle with you? Yeah. Go, my Pokemon, go! So I guess we'll be battling this trainer over here. You are challenged by School Kid Harrison. School Kid Harrison sent out Abra. Ooh, that's cool. We're gonna send out Luke for now. So I think that Abra is a psychic type, so there really shouldn't be too much of a problem with the typings. But we do have two level advantage on this Abra, so hopefully that'll be good. But Abra's gonna use Charge Beam, oh my gosh. That was really damaging. It's super effective. Okay, I guess that was a lightning move or something. Weird. For now though, uh, Luke's gonna use Water Gun and that does some decent damage, so hopefully we can just keep into this. If you keep using Charge Beam though, I might be in some trouble. Oh no, there goes Luke already. Okay, this is not a good start. It's super effective. Okay, so that is really good. <laughs> Luke fainted. We gotta be careful, there's some powerful trainers out there. Um, but we could try Bass for now. I didn't realize that Abra would have a lightning move. So unfortunately, Luke got passed out there. We might actually lose this battle because this is now level three versus level six, I think. Oh, this is actually a little scary. But we'll try our best. We're gonna use tackle, but fast avoided the, the charge. I mean, that's good. There she goes. Oh, almost, come on. Charge beam again, this is gonna hurt. Oh no. Yikes, okay, I think we can maybe hold on because it's not very effective. And you just tackle one more time, come on, come on. Yes, awesome, a critical hit at the perfect timing at the Abra fainted. So that's sort of a problem right now is that lightning type Pokemon are really gonna mess this up and that's why I definitely wanna sort of get some experience for our, our, for Bass right now. There you go, Bass to level five. Pretty cool, Bass learned Thundershock. That'll definitely make a difference. You defeated School Kid Harrison. Oh snap, that's how it is then. Got 408 Poke Dollars for winning. It's hard to win if you don't have some Pokemon to choose from. Okay, that's all he's gonna say. Okay, so we'll talk to the other one soon. I'm guessing they will also want a battle. Before we do, I definitely need to heal Luke up because it is not good that Luke has fainted. I'm so sorry. And the unfortunate thing is when a Pokemon faints in battle, they don't gain any of the experience. So that was definitely not a good start to things, but we'll bounce back from it, it's no worries. There we go. Luke is all healed up now. And of course, uh, Bass gained a couple levels from that, so that's pretty good. Okay, so we'll run back over. And we'll try the other trainer now. I just became friends with my Pokemon. I'm not sure if we can do this properly, but may we battle? Of course. I need to try the things I learned before I forget them. Yep, trying out the things I learned is probably the best way to keep it in mind. So now we're going against School Kid Christine. Just gonna send out Abra. Another one, <laughs> great. I'm a little worried about this, but we'll just sort of go for it. Maybe I'll swap over to Bass sooner. Um, but for now, we'll get an effective water gun. I mean, it'll do some damage. Because yeah, you're also gonna use Charge Beam. That is such a problem. But it shows you, maybe we chose a more difficult Pokemon to start with. Luke is gonna hit him with the water gun. We are going to switch then. Let's go to our Pokemon and get a Bass. Now they only have a one level difference now instead of a three level difference. So that's actually pretty big. Hopefully Bass can get something done here. Bass is gonna have the Intimidate. That's pretty good. Oh gosh. Can we avoid it this time? Not really. So the question is, will Electric do more than our Tackle? We take a look, this is our brand new move, Thundershock. A jolt of electricity crashes down on the target to inflict damage. This may also leave the target with paralysis. I'm thinking about it, I don't think Abra's electric type, so I think while this won't be the most damaging thing, it shouldn't be not very effective. So we'll try this out. Yeah, not too bad. Okay, so we're sort of in a dangerous spot. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my potion on Bass. There we go. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm posing Abra used Charge Beam, but we avoided it. Good job, Bast. Let's go ahead and just do another Thundershock for now. 
Oh, they get to attack twice in a row because we used a potion, which is sort of silly, but that's just how it is. Come on, come on, is this enough? Not quite. Oh, but we do have the Paralyze on them, which means there is a chance they, they won't be able to move. Anyways, let's go ahead and tackle. Let's see if we can't finish you up with that. Yes, we can. Okay, not too bad. Pokemon getting experience points. So they both should be getting some good experience and baskets to level seven growing so fast. You defeated school kid Christine. I like to study a lot. I thought I could win. I mean, you almost did. It was close. All right then. So we win this one. That's good. We were actually confident that we would do pretty good, but I'm completely impressed by how tough you are. If you'd like, talk to my friend and get some technical machines from him. This one? Whew, you're really good. We've been studying every day, but we were no match at all. You'd be able to use these technical machines properly. Here you go. You obtained TM tents. Interesting. Put the TM tents in your bag's TM pocket. If you beat up TM Tem, you can use it to teach work up to a Pokemon. A Pokemon that uses work up in battle will raise its attack and special attack at the same time. But remember, a TM is is good for one use only. Don't waste it. All right, well, I'll definitely keep that in mind. Right now it says to explore Jubilife City, so I think that's what we're gonna be focusing on. But I think before anything else, there might be more stuff to explore that way, but I definitely need to heal our Pokemon up again. Okay, so I figure we'll go over this way and see what's going on. Whoa. I'm so sorry, the GWS isn't ready yet. I don't know what the GWS is, but I guess we'll have to find out later. Oh, this person wants to talk to us. We're very popular today. Everybody's walking up to us. Oh, you are a Pokemon trainer? But you don't have a Poketech yet? Or Poketch, I guess? Uh, a Poketch is short for Pokemon Watch. No, my. You are a rare case indeed. You see, I invented and now manufacture Poketches. Not only that, I'm now conducting the Poketch promotional campaign. All you have to do is find three clowns. Oh gosh, I didn't mean to press. <laughs> I'll give you your own Poketch. We need to find three clowns. Three clowns will each ask you a simple question. The questions will have to do with Pokemon. After all, a Poketch is a tool designed for devoted Pokemon trainers. Collect a coupon from each clown, then come see me, okay? We'll do. One, two, three, four, five, six. That should do it. You can only have six Pokemon in your party at a time. Hi, I'm a Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll out my question. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and getting experience points? Yes. Ding, ding, you're absolutely correct. Pokemon grow stronger by defeating other Pokemon in battle. Some Pokemon even change into a different Pokemon through a process known as evolution. Here you go, your Poketch coupon. All right then, we obtained coupon one. You put co the coupon one in your bag's key item pocket. Pokemon grow stronger through battling. Some Pokemon even change into a different Pokemon. Okay, yeah, he's just gonna say the same thing again. Guess we'll poke into the shop. We've earned some money, of course, you know, battling other trainers. So maybe there's some stuff we need to buy. We did use a potion recently, so maybe we could get another one. I mean, we already have, I'll just buy one. Uh, so we're having even 10. Might be good to get some of this other stuff. Like we have antidote. Let me just sort of even this out to five. Uh, that's what I usually do. 10 potions, uh, five of the other more circumstantial items. So five, but antidote would be good. Uh, and the paralyzed heal, we don't have any of this, which is a, whoops, that was wrong. I went too far back, hold on. Uh, a spray type medicine for treating paralysis. It can be used to free a single Pokemon that's been paralyzed. So obviously pretty self-descriptive. So we have something for poison and something for paralyzation. And then over here we have a heal ball, a remedial Pokeball that restores the HP of a Pokemon caught with it and eliminates status conditions. So that seems pretty useful. Might as well have a couple of these. So we're spending a bit of our money, but you know, that's the point of it. And we have almost, yeah, well, I guess we, we used one, but we have 24 Pokeballs there, pretty good. Okay, so there's that. We'll talk to some people around here. I need potions most of all. If all my Pokemon faint, I completely black out. If you want to catch a Pokemon, you should try to lower its HP first. If you don't, Pokeballs won't be very effective. Yep, we know all about that. So there we go, there's that Pokesaur, or the Pokemart. Got this person over here. Jubilife City is built on land carved out of a mountain. So the people and the Pokemon of Orberg City 
helped out with that undertaking. Cool. There's a lot of people to talk to around here. I went to the trainer school around here. Study there and you may come out stronger. Yep, already did. Don't worry about that. Hi, I know it's a little sudden, but would you like to join a group? If you join a group, you can compete and cooperate with fellow members. It's a lot of fun. Wanna join? Uh, tell me more. Mix your records in any local room and you'll be able to join a group of friends you meet there. When you're in the same group, events can happen simultaneously. It makes things a lot more fun playing in a group. Anyone can make a group and anyone can join. Hope you recruit lots of friends so everyone can have fun. So I guess I can make one. Cool, what do you wanna name your group? Okay, well I'm pretty sure you guys can guess. I wanna name it the Zebra Herd. There you go. The Zebra Herd group, huh? That's a great name. You lead this group. I hope they get more, some members. Okay, I don't really know how that works, but for right now. Hiya, where'd you come from? Twin Leaf Town, huh? It's a nice place, quiet and all. Jubilee City is a big place, so it might be a bit of a shock to you. And I guess. So what is this building? Jubilife TV, the fun and games TV station. Interesting. Did you see me on TV? I was in an interview. That's cool. Hi, I'm a Poketch campaign clown. Let's roll on my question. Get a Pokemon hold an item? Yes. Ding, ding. You're absolutely correct. A Pokemon may hold a single item. Some items become, an effe or become effective as soon as they are held by a Pokemon. Berries are eaten by Pokemon as necessary during battle. Here you go, your Poketch coupon. All right, so we got the third coupon, so we missed the second one somewhere. Guess I'll have to look around for that. In the meantime, now. Oh, there you are. When you walk with your Pokemon, they gradually grow friendlier. That's good. I don't know how to bring out our Pokemon to walk with them, but I guess we'll find out soon. So what is this? The Poketch Company, Pokemon Watches for the World. Hi, I'm a Poketch Campaign Clown. Let's roll out my question. Just like Pokemon, do the moves of Pokemon also have types? Of course they do. The answer has been yes to all three questions. Ding, ding. You're absolutely correct. If a Pokemon's type matches the type of a move it uses, that move is made much more powerful. Here you go, your Poketch coupon. You attained the coupon too. So with all three coupons, we should be able to go back, but I might as well go into the little Poketch area then. This seems to be a nice little office space. Hello. Oh, you can be sure I'll keep developing Poketch apps. Just like Pokemon, my Poketch is something that evolves. Welcome to the Poketch company. We're actually a family-run business, so we're not very impressive. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Just because you're family-owned doesn't mean you can't be impressive. It seems like a lot for a family to, you know, just bring up, so I think that's very impressive. We try to think like trainers when we develop new Poketch apps. The user satisfaction is what we're after. Okay, well that's cool. I'm sure we'll get our Poketch in a moment. I just wanted to sort of run through and say hi to everybody. Pokemon Watch, or Poketch for short. Say it the long way and, what does Pokemon stand for again? Anyway, I'm the father of the president of the Poketch Company. All right, I think Pokemon is actually short for Pocket Monster. My husband is the president. We started out in a small workshop where he made whatever he liked. Now we're making something that makes the world happy. Imagine that. Do you have a Poketch? There are two models, each in a different color. People everywhere make Pokatch apps. You'll be able to get new apps from surprising sources. The PCs here, here have guides on the various Pokatch apps. Hmm, interesting. So over here, there are descriptions of Pokatch apps. Which Pokatch app do you have? For right now, I don't have any, so maybe we should go and get one. <laughs> I guess maybe I got a little carried away. So we'll go and talk to that guy and get our very own Pokatch. Okay, so I figure I'll look around here a little bit, but I think we found most things. I could just talk to this guy again. Okay, let me count your coupons. I'll just pull out my Poketch here and one, two, three, bravo, I say bravo. In return for these coupons, I present you with this Pokemon watch, or Poketch for short. Receive the Poketch. Cool. You can add apps to your Poketch to make it even more versatile. Please press the R button and try it out. The Poketch. Press the R button to open your Poketch. Control it by using the touch screen and hold down the R button to close it. Well, are you playing on the TV right now? So we can't really do that part too much. It looks like that guy's gonna walk off for now. But here it is, cute little Poketch. Oh, I love this. 
So what's interesting about this is that this game was originally on the Nintendo DS, so it had a second touchscreen. Here you don't really have that, but of course there's like a calculator that you can use. There is, I think this is a, a walker, so it should track our steps. I just cleared it. I don't know if that was a good idea, but uh, there you go. Uh, we got our Pokemon that we currently have, and that's everything. So I guess we'll keep it on the watch for now. Pretty useful. Uh, so we'll close that. But still, I like it. And it's just gonna stay up there the whole time, I suppose so. Interesting. See, we could just keep our steps tracked there. For right now, though, we'll just keep walking around. And what about you? Hey, you. Yes, you with the with that cool scarf. You should have seen that boy who came running by earlier. He ran past me that so quickly that I couldn't even manage a hello. Interesting, so I'm guessing that's line. Jubilee City, City of Joy. So there are different ways to go. Like we have the condominiums here, tenants wanted. Next stop is Orberg City. So I'm guessing that's to the right. We'll worry about that soon enough. But let's talk to some of these people. Oh, there's a Pikachu. Another Pokemon I don't know the name of. Oh, your Pokemon is quite adorable. Here, try making it hold this Quick Claw. You obtained a Quick Claw. Okay. Put the Quick Claw in your bag's other items pocket. A Pokemon holding that Quick Claw can sometimes attack first, even if it is normally a little bit slow. There are items that are only useful when given to a Pokemon. Try finding other items that you can make your Pokemon hold. I sound like I'm a teacher or something. <laughs> well, I appreciate the extra information. So for right now, let's go to our bag. And we have somewhere around here, uh, the Quick Claw. So an item to be held by a Pokemon, this light sharp claw lets the bearer move first occasionally. So we'll go ahead and give that to Bast, I guess. It doesn't really matter too much which one we give it to. We also have the Team 10 in there, and the guidebook. If we wanted to read more about it, we could. Okay, so, uh, what is this thing that's new about the town map? So we're in Jubilife City, the most modernized city in the Sinnoh region. It is bustling with people on the go. Jubilife TV, Sinnoh's TV network is located here. It is an entertaining place to visit. See, that's where we are right now. Our goal is to get over to Orberg City, so we'll be working on that. But as you can see, going around and talking to people, it usually earns us some stuff. If not just knowledge, we get you know the Quick Claw and maybe some other things. Isn't my Pokemon quite fetching? A trainer would be simply lost without a Pokecatch, after all. I agree. All right, over here. Do you buy some heal balls at the Pokemart? A heal ball completely heals the Pokemon it catches on the spot. That means you can catch a Pokemon and have it battle ready right away. I don't know what kind of healing space it is in of healing space it is inside a heal ball. That sounds interesting. I like making my Pokemon use their attacks. Sometimes when Pokemon get stronger, they learn new moves. Those new moves keep things fresh and are a fun distraction for me. That's cool. Okay, so I think that's everything in this building. So we are good to head out of here. And there are different ways to go, but I think for the most part, we wanna leave them for some other time. I think for a lot of these, you know, there's also trainers. I don't know if they might be way more powerful than I'm ready for. So we'll leave those be for our own safety. I just wanted to make sure, was there anything really more to explore over this way? Jubo City, the City of Joy. Yep, I know, that's where we are. But this, we're 218 up ahead is great fishing hole that's almost unknown to people. Yes sir, an old rod is a good thing. You think so too, am I right? Of course. Yes, good answer, we can be friends. Here you go, it's my old rod. You obtained the old rod, oh nice. Okay, you put the old rod in your bag's key items pocket. You should fish wherever there's a body of water. Oh, and by the way, do you have any tips on the fishing rod? Uh, sure. First, you face any body of water, then you use your fishing rod. Next, you focus. If a Pokemon bites, an exclamation mark appears. That's your cue to reel it in. Okay, so we'll definitely have to try fishing at some point. I don't know if there's any way to, oh, there you go, to close it. That's that's a bit more convenient. We'll bring it up when we need it, but no need to have it there the whole time, just to click and hold. See, we're heading this way, Route 203 and there's Lion. Hey, buddy. Hey, Zebra, tell me you got a little tougher. Me, do you even need to ask? Of course I got tougher. Come on, let's battle it out. Oh boy, I hope I healed my Pokemon. Should probably catch a couple more of them. That was gonna be my goal as we made our way over to uh, this next city. Or challenged by Lion. Pokemon trainer Lion sent out Starly. Ooh, so Starly should be a normal flying, I think. So if we want, we can switch over to Bass. But for now, maybe we could just do the water gun. 
So I was just gonna use Tackle. So for the time being, I think we can handle Starly just like this. Whoa, nice. Don't get cocky, kid. This isn't over yet. All right, let's keep going. Oh my. There we go, almost. The growl shouldn't be too much of a problem. So if I remember correctly, Lion had a Turtwig, I think. So we'll try to keep that in mind as we um, move to this next fight because Turtwig will be good against Luke because water's, I mean, grass is good against water. So we're gonna wanna switch over to Bast now. Yep, we'll switch Pokemon to Bast. And Bast has that Quick Claw, maybe that'll come into effect. All right, well, let's go for it. As you can see, Bass is out here. Here comes Turtwig as well. He's Intimidate, that's pretty good. Yeah, Bass is becoming quite the strong Pokemon. We have the, the, the right off the bat, the Intimidate and everything. We'll try the Thunder Shock. I don't know if this will not be effective. Yeah, it didn't do much. It's not very effective. Turtwig is gonna use Withdraw. What does that do? The opposing Tur Turtwig's defense rose. So let's just use Tackle. And over the Bass. Oh, that really doesn't do much. The opposing Turtwig used Withdraw. So they are just really beefing up here. That is gonna make it very difficult to defeat them. We might be doing a lot of tackling. Oh my goodness, it does not do much. It makes me think maybe they don't have any special grass moves just yet. Maybe we should switch back over to, to Luke and see what we can do with this. The only problem is Luke gets taken out here. It's gonna be sort of bad news. We'll try it. We'll see what ends up happening. Because Turtwig just keeps using Withdrawal, they're gonna be harder and harder to take out. So we need our strongest Pokemon just to hit them. Even if it is just with Pound. Come on, come on. Oh man, it does not do much. What is going on with this? Yeah, the tackle's gonna do a lot more damage than mine does. Jeez, what a strategy by Lion just to start things out. This game has been really tough so far. <laughs> this is a lot more difficult than the other Pokemon games at the beginning that I've played. Okay, well he's almost halfway down. Problem now is that we're sort of getting tackled a lot too. Oh, okay, we're starting to pick up a little bit. A critical hit, that's good. Church is gonna use Withdrawal again. What if I use Growl? to bring them back down. My Pokemon's HP is low, this could be a bit tight. No, 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 don't switch, instead, use Growl. Luke, use Growl. Come on, Luke. What will that lower, just a defense? Attack foul, so I guess it doesn't really do too much. I mean, it's, it's good to sort of lower it a little bit. No, I didn't want to do it again, whoops. Okay, that's sort of a problem. But their attack's gonna be really low. And use tackle one more time. I think I'm gonna go for one pound and then I think I really need to use a potion. So far this is very challenging. They can use withdrawal again, because of course they do. I don't think Turtwig's gonna hit a seven, but now might just be the time to be careful. Let's use a potion on Luke. But yeah, I guess if we chose Chinchar, this would be such an easy battle because fire is good against grass. Okay, well, as you can see, that really doesn't do very much damage. So we're both sort of in the same situation, but I have more health. So hopefully we can make this work for us. There we go. Okay, let's keep it going. This is such a long drawn out battle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, keep it going. Oh no. We're using pound. It's it's almost there. If I use water, it's just not gonna be doing anything. So like it might be better just to switch back over to to Bast, but at the same time, I worry that, you know. Turtwig will be able to get a couple hits in, so it really is just back and forth of us just smacking each other. And it's almost done, but geez, what a weird battle. 
Come on, come on. Oh, there it is, awesome. A critical head. The opposing tur Turtwig fainted. Pokemon getting experience points. So we're both getting tons of levels here. Level 10 and nine. So Lucre to level 10 and Basker to level nine. That is some good stuff. Basler in charge. Okay, guess we'll have to see what that is. You defeated Pokemon Trainer Lion. What just happened? I lost? You got 1,188 Poke Dollars from winning. Pretty cool. Ah, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to be the world's toughest trainer, and you know it. The first thing to do is to take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that totally. Hmm, okay. Well, I guess we'll have to see about that. For right now, though, we're gonna run back over here and heal up for sure because even though we won, we took a pretty major beating there. Okay, so now that we're back on Route 2 or 3, there's gonna be plenty of trainers to take on. I also wanna explore around and I wanna catch a couple of new Pokemon if possible. What I've noticed is that Pokemon just don't show up in the tall grass very often. Don't get how long I have to run around for them just to pop up. But ooh, we have Starly, which would be a pretty good one to check out. We do not have Starly just yet, so maybe we'll just try a uh, Pound for now. Oh no, okay. I probably don't wanna hit any more than that just in case, but they are using Growl, which will lower our attack, I think. So maybe it's possible. But let's play it safe. Let's just try to catch him with a Pokeball. And I don't think that uh, Star will be permanently a part of our team, but a welcome addition for now. Nice, and we caught it. So there we go. Our second caught Pokemon, our third in total, Starly. Our Pokemon gained experience points. Very cool. Starly's data will be added to the Pokedex. Usually with a large flock, it is barely noticeable when alone. It cries are very strident. It is a Starling Pokemon normal flying type. Pretty cool. Would you like to give Starly a nickname? Not for now. Starly has been added to your party. Pretty cool. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, maybe we're gonna take on a trainer. I'm full of energy because I get power from my Pokemon. We'll see about that, if it's enough energy to take us on. We're challenged by youngster Michael. Mr. Michael sent out Bidoof. Okay, so we're gonna send out Luke. I think that Bidoof is normal, but I'm pretty sure Bidoof's evolution is water type, so I think we'll be fine just using Water Gun. Won't be anything too crazy. Ooh, actually, some decent damage. They're gonna use Defense Curl, but I don't know if that'll be enough to guard them against the second hit we're about to smack them with. Let's go for it and find out. It won't be, so there we go. I don't think this trainer had any other Pokemon, so I might have just won. Oh no, Zubat. So you know what, Zubat should be flying. Bass will be good against this. Okay, let's go for it then. Bass should be able to hit Zubat with the lightning and probably take it out pretty fast. Inner focus. So I guess they canceled each other out, sort of. We do have a brand new move here, Charge. The user boosts the power of the electric move it uses in the next turn. This also raises the user's special defense stat. So we could try this. You know what, let's go for it. So we'll charge up this turn, and the next turn we'll hit them with a Thunder Shock. Should be pretty good. Zubat's gonna use Astonish, whoa. Interesting, let's use Thunder Shock. Bass can act faster than normal thanks to its Quick Claw. Bass used Thundershock, awesome. Whoa, and the one hit takedown, super effective. See you, Zubat, that was cool. All right then, so another good chunk of experience points. Starly is now level six, and we defeated youngster Michael. Oh, my poor Bidoof and Zubat. And they did their best, so it matters. Avoid tall grass or avoid trainers. Do you have trouble deciding? Not really, I sort of try to go for both because I think that's what's gonna make it stronger in the end. Anyways, over here we have a Pokeball. Pretty cool. So just one extra for catching Pokemon is always nice. Did you know? The first Pokemon to appear in a battle is the one that at the top of your team list. 
Yep, I didn't know that. So it looks like that's everything for this part of the route. Gonna head up these stairs for now. Trainer tips. Pokemon move use, moves use energy called power points, or PP for short. To replenish PP, head over or head for any Pokemon Center. See, just like killing them, we can re restore the power points with the uh, Pokemon Center. We're always together. I'll show you how we've bonded. Okay, well, let's see. Going against Youngster Dallas. Dallas has Cricketot. Interesting. So Cricketot's a bug type. Do I think? I think flying is good against bug, if not mistaken. Either way, we'll go for a battle here, and I'll just use Pound. Maybe I could use Water here, Water Gun. Probably would've been fine. Struggle Bug, oh no. I think we're fine. Okay, let's try Water Gun. Almost down. Come on, one more time. And this is the only Pokemon this trainer has. You can tell in the top right when you're Sort of choosing your move, you can see how many Pokeballs I have. This trainer only had one, so we should win the battle with that. And that's almost level 11 for Luke already. Pretty cool. Got me down. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, keep training, you'll get there. I don't bear grudges over losing, but I promise I'll get get that get better. Oh gosh. What do we got here? Right away, and a new battle against a Starlight. Okay, well that's not too exciting because we already have a Starly, so I'll probably just take this one out real quick. But I'd like to find the Bidoof, because those are the three Pokemon we've run into so far, Shinx, Starly, and Bidoof. So hopefully we can find a Bidoof and catch that as well. It seems to be a pretty common Pokemon, so I'm not really too concerned about it. Either way, so I was gonna use Tackle. It does a little bit of damage, but nothing to be too concerned about. We'll use Pound. Nice. And Starly will faint. Okay. So with that out of the way, yeah, we can't quite get up there from here. Oh, another trainer. Well, that's quite long vision. I found a trainer while looking for some Pokemon. I'm guessing that's me. Oh, we're going against uh, Last Keatling. Last Keatling is not the doof. I've been looking for one, unfortunately. I mean, I guess it's not unfortunate, but it, you cannot catch other trainers' Pokemon even though that'd be really mean. All right then, so we'll just try Water Gun. This Bidoof's only level four, so we actually have quite the advantage over it. And it's gonna be a one-hit takedown. Beautiful. Okay, so Luke levels up, and so does Starly. Luke learned Charm. Starly go to level seven. Pretty cool. Last Kalen is about to send out Bidoo. Will you switch your Pokemon? Now, Bidoo's a grass type, so yeah, Piplup is gonna be sort of rough against that. I don't know, is flying good against grass or is grass good against flying? I mean, they don't have any flying type moves anyways, so we'll try Bastet a little bit. Hope for the best. At the least, it'll be sort of neutral, so that's not too bad. Us Kalen and Sanapudu. So cute. We're gonna intimidate it. All right, so we'll try just Thundershock. With it being level four Pokemon, I think it'll be fine. And we we'll use Quick Claw. Or is that not very effective? I guess it's not. Oh gosh, okay, so Badoo's growing. That's gonna raise its attack. So for now, I guess we'll just use Tackle. One should be plenty enough. Almost. Back of in growth again. But if they're not gonna attack with their attack bonuses, then it doesn't really matter very much. Okay, so your Pokemon gained experience points. Almost level 10. Pretty cool. So not Starly. So we're gonna keep our current Pokemon, because Starly's a flying type, so this should be super effective. And it's only level four, so it might even be able to get a one-hit takedown. Let's try our super effective move and find out. Nice, yes it is. Okay, so really good battle there. The more Pokemon they have, the more experience we can gain from it. And now, Bass is level 10. You defeated last Caitlyn. Huh? You're finished so soon? Oh, sorry. 
I feel so bad they all seem so disappointed when we beat them. I'll walk through tall grass until I find the Pokemon I want. I do the same thing. So we have another trainer? Yeah, I guess this, this one was very optional. Give me a battle so I can see if I'm ready for the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Hopefully we can both find out. You are challenged by Youngster Sebastian. Youngster Sebastian sent out Machop, oh wow. So Machop is a fighting type? I don't remember what fighting type is weak towards. I know it's strong against like ground and stuff, but I think water will be fine. Oh, we learned charm. The user gazes at the target rather charmingly, making it less wary. This harshly lowers the target's attack stat. This might be good to try. That's like a fairy or psychic type move, one of the two. The opposing Machop's attack harshly fell. The opposing Machop used low kick. That was still actually not that painful. So let's go ahead and use Water Gun and see how that goes. Ooh, some good damage for sure. We can use low kick again. Now the damage is picking up. That was a critical hit. But we should be able to go for one more Water Gun and be enough to take out Machop. There it is. See you, Machop. Do they have any more? Your Pokemon get experience points. Starly is level eight. Which, hey, if we can evolve Starly, that's pretty good. It's just more stuff to, you know, finish up for our Pokedex. I guess it means I'm not ready for the gym challenge yet. Okay, well, very cool. I guess if you don't have a single gym badge, you're a total nobody. Well, I hope you can get there soon enough. We do have a cave over this way, that's Orberg City. I got a nifty King Gym Badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. So this person's actually defeated the uh, the gym leader. So if we can beat them, I guess we can beat the gym leader, right? Got last Madeline. And they sent out Starly. So we should probably switch over to uh, Bast here in a moment. But we'll see what level the Starly is. Level five. Wow, okay. It must be a good trainer if they're able to beat a gym battle with level five Pokemon. Well, let's go ahead with this. It's still almost a one hit takedown. So we're doing fine with this. I don't think we have to worry about it too much. And that's a critical hit. Starly is fainted. What other Pokemon do they have then? Us battle is about to send out Bidoof. Uh, so we'll switch just for the sake of it. His look is looking a little beat up. Bass is seeming pretty fine. I want to focus on mostly having Bass and Luke in the front because they'll get more experience for actually being there and seeing how they're going to be long-term in my party and Shelly is not. It's just better to focus on that. Okay, well, Bidoof is coming out. I think we can handle Bidoof. So let's go ahead and just try Thundershock because we are double Bidoof's level. Okay, Bass used Thundershock. Not quite a one-hit takedown, but it is a paralysis, so that might end up working for us. Okay, we're still able to growl, but that's not the end of the world. Even if our attack falls, I think we might still have enough to just take them out. Let's hope so. Yes, we do. Okay, so with that done, we're getting a little closer to level ups. Pretty good. There's last mile undefeated. Oh, I lost. La la la. What is what? Okay. I'm going to collect lots of gym badges. I'll work with my Pokemon. That's a good goal to have. Trainer tips. If a Pokemon is about to evolve, it can be instantly stopped. Press the B button during evolution to startle the Pokemon into stopping. That is how evolution can be canceled. I don't see why you'd want to do that, but I guess it's there. Either way, whoa, we're running into Abra. You can get out a wild Abra. That's exciting. So we have Luke out here, which We've already learned earlier in today's episode. Uh, maybe not the best situation, but we'll just try Pound and hope it's not enough to take it out. Oh no, oh, close. Oh, but they used Teleport to get away. Oh no, the Wild Abra fled from battle. Now that's sort of the tough thing about Abra, so very difficult to catch. But maybe we can run into another one. No, it's another Shanks. <laughs> okay, well I'm not super into Shanks, because we already caught one, we have Bast keep with that, but hopefully we can take you out pretty quick with Water Gun. There we go, awesome. Okay, so with that done, 
Just some extra experience. I'm trying to make my way over here because I know for a fact that there's a Pokeball waiting for us. There we go, we found a Repel. So Repels, as far as I remember, are basically we can um, use that so we don't run into any Pokemon in the wild grass. I actually want to find Pokemon in the wild grass. Also, I know that we got our fishing rod before. Can we use that here or? Old rod, use this item. I don't know if there's a shortcut for that, but yeah, we can sort of fish now. This is not convenient. What are we gonna find? We landed a Pokemon. We got, it's Magikarp. <laughs> we encountered a wild Magikarp. He <laughs> uses Flopper on the water. So this is pretty cool. I don't know if we'll spend too much time with this right now, but if we battle, the least we can use Pound. Once again, the goal just be to lower Magikarp enough that we can catch it. And that should be fine right there. They're gonna splash, but nothing happened. We'll just use the Pokeball. And as you can see, can we catch it? Maybe? Yes, we can. So, so far we have a 100% success rate. Gotcha, Magikarp was caught. Very cool. So there's another one we'll add to our party for now. Number 23, Magikarp, a fish Pokemon water type. It is unable to swim against even slow moving currents. It always splashes about for some reason. Would you like to give Magikarp a nickname? Nope, not for right now. Okay, well I don't know if we'll be using Magikarp too much considering how strong Magikarp is, which is to say not very much, but we'll keep going on. We have another Starly. So I guess at this point I'll just try to make my way out of the wild grass and hopefully we can find another new Pokemon. Okay, so I guess we're heading into this cave over here. Hopefully we find some good stuff. Ooh, hello. Ooh, looky there, you got a Poketch. Mm, you're still pre a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good, you're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So, let me make a gift of these tentacle machines to you. You obtain TM-98s. Interesting. You put the TM-98s in your bag's TM pocket. Each of these TMs contains the move Rock Smash. FYI, when you use a tentacle machine to teach your Pokemon a move, that TM will then break. So think very carefully when you use it. I've also added a new feature to your Pokatch, Rookie Trainer. It's the Hidden Moves app. The rock smash from your Poketch and the wild Pokemon will get rid of the boulders on your path. But to use this hidden move in the field, you'll first need a gym badge from Orberg City. I'm looking forward to seeing your growth. Hidden moves. Use hidden moves from the hidden moves Poketch app to remove or bypass obstacles. So that's cool. From what I understand, the older Pokemon games, you would have to have that specific kind of Pokemon in your sort of party at all times, even if it maybe wasn't the kind of Pokemon you wanted. I guess that's not the case anymore. Each of these TMs contains the move Rock Smash. FYI, when you use a tactical machine to teach your Pokemon a move, that TM will then break. So think very carefully about when you use it. Okay, so yep. We've already read about that. I thought he was gonna say anything or something more, but I guess not. Uh, so I guess there's not much going on up here. It's a rugged rock, but you may be able to smash it with a hidden move. Unfortunately, we can't do that until we get the trainer defeated. But for now, we're just gonna try to get the Orberg. We trainers will accept challenges anywhere. It's what we do. I guess that's the case. One thing I'm a bit concerned about is that Piplup is, or Luke is getting pretty beat up. But we got Camper Curtis, who's gonna have Shinx. So I'm definitely gonna switch Luke out here because Shinx should have some electric moves. Dangerous place to have Shinx though, because if there's ground type around here, that'll be super effective against Shinx. Okay, so we're gonna switch Pokemon. And I guess we'll switch just to Bast. Should be good enough. It'll be Shinx versus Shinx, but I think overall things will probably go our way. We have a higher level. All right, Bass, you know what to do. Okay, so they're gonna use Tackle, which isn't too concerning as you can see. We're just gonna go in, I guess we'll just do Tackle as well. It's gonna be a little bit of a Tackle battle again, but ours hurts a lot more than theirs does. So that's good. Okay. Attack on again. We got Quick Claw. I think we were already gonna attack first, anyways, but good to have it. Ah, uh, almost. Come on, come on. There we go. So, do they have any other Pokemon? Let's 
sure about the fun out. We get three level ups, Basker to level 11, Lucre to level 12, and Starry go to level nine. Pretty cool. Starly learned wing attack. That's good to see. So we actually have a flying type move now. Okay. Hmm, insufficiently raised. We got 392 for winning. Pretty cool. So can I talk to you? There we go. Gee, when you're in a key, VOD Pokemon can appear anytime. I've been waiting for that, but it hasn't popped up just yet. To celebrate my getting through this key, I'm going to battle you. Okay, so let's see what she has for us. This is Picnicker Diana. Diana's in a voodoo. Okay. Think that we can handle that. Let's go for it, though. We are going to try... Well, actually, no, it's grass type. Maybe this isn't a good idea. We'll switch. I guess we could just try Starly. Now that Starly has a flying type, but this might be a good idea. Okay. So we'll give it our best shot and hope for the best with everything. Starly acquired Insomnia. That's a bit concerning. So we're just gonna try Wing Attack, the new move. Uh, the target is struck with large, imposing wings spread wide to inflict damage. And this will be super effective. Cool. Nice, one hit takedown. Good job, Starly. And that is almost level six for Magikarp. Psyduck. Okay, Psyduck is definitely a water type. We're gonna switch over to Bast. We should just be able to shock Psyduck down pretty quickly. <laughs> I love Psyduck, so cute. Okay, we have Cloud9, the effects of weather disappear. We're just gonna try a really quick Thunder Shock. They're only level five. The trainer Pokemon levels are pretty low still, which gives us a chance to really beef up our Pokemon, so I definitely don't mind. So there we go, and that's going to be level six for Magikarp. Glad to see it, so. Well, I guess losing is something to commemorate too. I mean, I suppose so, you learn something from it, that's always good. Getting through this cave feels like an adventure. See, so I wanted to run around a little bit to see what kind of Pokemon we can run into just by running around the cave, but we haven't found anything yet. Oh, there we go. I was gonna say, I guess we'll just move on, but something's gonna pop up. It's gonna be Geodude. You encountered a wild Geodude. Exciting. So I'm hoping that we don't want to take down this Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know if I can use this because we're double their level. It might be a one-hit takedown. We're just gonna try normal pound. Problem is that doesn't really do too much. They're gonna use Sandstorm. Oh my. I guess we're just gonna have to keep pounding for now. Okay, battle again, use pound. Yeah, that's gonna take a minute, isn't it? <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, to keep on it, maybe we can just get through this pound. Because I know that if I use the water move even once, it's gonna be instantly, boop, totally gone. Okay. Oh no, we're pretty low right now though, so we do have to be careful. You know what, it might just be better to switch Pokemon then, the more I think about this. The problem is, who would I switch to? Starly's also gonna be weak. Some of these moves, same thing with Bast. Uh, but maybe we'll just try it. We'll see how it goes. Pokemon. Or maybe I should just heal. I think it might just be easier to use a potion then. Cause that's sort of the delicate situation we're in. If it was just about taking out the Pokemon, yeah, I'd just use Water Gun instant takedown. But since we need to lower their health enough, just so that we can uh, actually catch them, it is a lot more work. Okay, use Pound again. We're, they're in the yellow, so I think that if we hit them one more time, we'll be fine. The Sandstorm subsided, which will really help. So just use Pound one more time. Don't be a critical, please. Perfect. So we can try this out. Juju's gonna use Rock Polish. And we are just gonna, boom, 
We can either use a Heal Ball or a Pokeball. Doesn't really matter, we'll just use normal Pokeball for now. Okay. Very cool. Okay, so we caught a Geodude. There's one more Pokemon for the Pokedex. Very exciting to see that. Geodude Stata will be added to the Pokedex. And this is a rock Pokemon, of course, rock ground type. It is impossible to distinguish from rocks. It slams against others in contests of toughness. Or is it to give, nope. I would like to keep it as it is. Geodude will not be a long-term partner, but we'll be happy to have them for now. Okay, so with that, we're gonna move forward into whatever is over here. There's more cave? No, there's not. We're in Orberg City, awesome. Orberg City, the city of energy. So how exciting is this? I guess we can talk to somebody real quick. Howdy, trainer. If you don't have a single gym badge, other trainers will look down on you like you're a total noob, right? So I'll show you where the town's Pokemon gym is. Oh, this is cool. So I guess right over here, and look who's there already, we got Lion. Huh, there's someone there. Is that guy in front of the gym your friend? He's sort of twitchy and impatient. Huh? Oh, it's you, Zebra. You finally got here? You're slow like always. You're so slow the gym leader's long gone now. You said he had to go to, uh, oh yeah, to Orberg Mine. I got my badge already, so it's no big deal to me, but. Okay, I told you, the gym leader isn't here. If you wanna challenge the gym, you'd better go down to the mine and ask him. But wow, a gym leader is in a different class of toughness. Even I'm feeling run down. So that's cool, he already got his gym badge. We aren't quite gonna be able to just hop in and do that. I guess we'll have to figure some things out here in Orberg City. But we're gonna see most of that for the next episode of Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.